Thanks for joining me on Golf Channel Academy. I'm your coach, Kelly Brook. And today we're going to talk about the dreaded shank. It's the worst five-letter word in the golf game. Uh, the shank happens for many reasons, uh, physically, but in theory, it's really very simple. All you do is you're hitting the ball in the hosel or the neck of the club in versus the center of the club. So we need to troubleshoot. We need to find out why that's happening. It could be a couple different reasons. One, you could be just simply too close to the ball. So we want you to set up to figure out if that's the case or not. And your weight should be evenly balanced between your toes and your heels maybe a little more towards the balls of your feet. If you're too close to the ball, you're going to feel that you're getting pushed into your heels. On the downswing, you're going to swing a little outside in because you're crowding yourself and you'll hit it right on that hosel. So the first thing we check is your weight distribution. Okay, another possible reason for a shank is that on the downswing, you're casting that club over the top and throwing yourself into your toes. So a great drill to solve that is to put an old golf club on the ground Put it under your toes. I'm going to back this up just a teeny bit because we want perfect balance, otherwise the drill is worthless. So I put that club under my toes and I go ahead and hit for about 15 minutes just getting the feel of hanging back into my heels a little more during the golf swing. Okay, the, if that's not what the problem is, the last thing is that you're simply swinging over the top. And a wonderful drill for this is what I call a two ball drill. I'm going to put a ball then I'm going to hit right here, and then I'm going to put another ball out, just barely out of position for my toe to hit it, the toe of the club. Okay? The goal here is, obviously, to clip only the interior ball. If you take both balls, then obviously you're swinging outside in. This is a great trick, and your shanks will be cured within minutes. So I'm going to set up to the inside ball. I'm making sure my balance is correct, and then I go ahead and take a swing and I hit only the interior ball. It's really hard, it's really easy, quite frankly, to get out of the shanks. Just use these tips and you'll be fine. For more information or to find a coach near you, visit GolfChannelAcademy.com.